Lauer did a fantastic job at the meaningless campaign coverage we've come to demand from our media. At some point, networks decided they could ask questions and the answers would just be someone else's problem, specifically yours. I wouldn't blame it on the moder moderator here. I would actually ask the viewers to really look at what Donald Trump is saying. Mr. Trump said he would have ordered his generals to seize oil from our enemies. Isn't that against the Geneva Convention, or is that a good idea? Well, I'm no military lawyer, but uh, I think that people can uh, look at the definition of war crimes and come to their own conclusion. You heard her, average American. In your plentiful spare time when you're not working your two jobs or watching your screaming kids, why not spend 20 or 30 hours studying the Geneva Conventions <laughs> so you know whether or not it's okay to steal another country's oil? That's so much easier than asking reporters and moderators to do their fucking jobs. I do not believe that it's my job to be a true squad. Well, it should be, because if you haven't noticed, we the people suck at it. I want to put up one more number from the latest Fox News poll. The likelihood that the Clintons were selling influence to those who donated to the Clinton Foundation. Very or somewhat likely, 66%, not likely or not at all, 30%, which basically is two to one. How we folks believe this is, or was, pay to play. Look, they only have 24 hours. There's no time to report the facts and what people feel are the facts. You gotta choose one. <laughs> Guys, we are swimming in bad information. Our dads are on Facebook. Chemtrails are not real, Dad. Why can't the media just tell us what's true and what's bullshit? Well, you have to call the guy a liar when you do that. That's the problem. That's a difficult thing for a Matt Lauer to do because it sounds like an opinion. And you're not supposed to have an opinion in this business. Yeah, but calling a liar a liar isn't an opinion if you can prove it. That's what we call a fact. The idea that news network execs traded their balls for ratings, that's just my opinion. <laughs> and look, I know the newsrooms are trying to fact check the geyser of mendacious vomit that spews nonstop <laughs> from the Trump campaign. They even invented the lower third lie detector just for him. <laughs> Unfortunately, only immigrants read subtitles. But facts without context are as bad as lies. Case in point? They destroyed blackberries with hammers in the State Department. That's not what won the presidency. Fact, actually, and that, by Evan, the way, Evan, Evan, no, Evan, Evan, hold on. Way, the report report hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, Evan Perez. Hammers, fact check that for me, please, on the fly. Uh, yes, they did, Brooke. Uh, as, Thanks, as, uh, <laughs> They as did. You Good, you checked it. But you never bothered to mention that government officials are required to permanently delete the data on old devices. They destroy them to keep the data safe. We can't read nerd mags for you, CNN. We're busy with our Geneva Conventions homework. <laughs> so, absent a more reasonable explanation, I guess we'll just believe this. People who have nothing to hide don't smash phones with hammers. They don't. Some would say destroying evidence. What kind Great. of backwards mafia thing is this? <laughs> they use the bleach, they use the hammer to clean up the crime scene. Is this Goodfellas or is this the State Department? Her proxies proceed to smash them with hammers uh, two, and direct... Though. Two. Uh, two, 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 it's too many. Just for the record, I'm, 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 not, I'm, not, I'm not judging. No, don't judge, Anderson. Judges are biased, except for the judge that sends that mafia cunt to jail. <laughs> the problem is news organizations simply are not equipped to cover a candidate whose entire being is a lie. They're built to present us with a choice between two qualified, decent public servants with different ideologies who could both do the job of president without starting World War III on their first day in office because a random Iranian flipped off one of our boats. Maintaining the image of fairness requires them to portray Hillary and Trump as equally flawed candidates, even though they know that's incorrect. On the one hand, you have the most breathtakingly unqualified ignoramus to ever heave his spray tan bulk within striking distance of elected office. A race-baiting bully who, according to two meticulously researched biographies, is a tax-cheating, investor-swindling, worker-shafting, dictator-loving, pathologically lying, attorneys general bribing, philandering, mobbed-up, narcissistic serial con artist who hasn't got the attention span to read a fortune cookie, much less a fucking intelligence briefing. But, but, on the other hand, Hillary Clinton used a private email server. See? Perfectly even. 
Next up on The Place for Politics, the neck and neck Senate race between a Rhodes Scholar and a Petri dish of fecal bacteria. Tweet us your thoughts. We'll be right back.